Hi everyone. In my last video, I explained the basic feature of ELK. Now I'm going to demonstrate ELK means how to install this ELK in dev machine or server, how to use this, what are the configuration we have to do for ELK. Okay, let's. Uh, this is the website where you people will get all the exe or msi to install that ELK product. If we go to product here, you can see these are the products of ELK. For now, we are going to use Elasticsearch and Kibana. Okay, we can uh, send this uh, ELK data to cloud as well. We have this log stash, beats, and x packs, everything. So, how you will going to install this? So, first you have to install this Elasticsearch. Let's click here and we can download here. See, from here you can download this zip file. Okay, if you click that download, it will start downloading. Okay, and also you can use this as a service. If you want you use as a service, then you have to use this cloud and all those things but for now i am downloading this one and also i want to download this uh, kibana kibana you have to go here and simply download yeah this thing you can download as a windows mac everything for now i am downloading as a windows okay okay for now i already have downloaded this thing i am going to that folder See in my download, I have this thing. You have to unzip this and it'll get to folder like this. Now, how to start with this thing? First, you have to go to Elasticsearch. Inside this, you will get one config file. You have to open this Elasticsearch.yml file. Okay. See, this file has lot of configuration. Now, the node name means uh, Elasticsearch will have one cluster name. What name you want to give? Here I put as Raj. Okay. And here you have to uh, give that uh, host address means where you want to run your Elasticsearch uh, cluster. Here I put as localhost. If you want uh, to give your machine IP, you can give here and you can save it. Now the port number. By default, Elasticsearch will work on 9200 port, but here I put 9205 as something else is running on 9200 port. There are a lot more uh, configuration. See uh, where you want to save your log data. If you search here, log, see here you can put like this, and here you'll find your log data, and you can modify this path also. And on that place, your log data will be getting saved. Okay, now you have to just save, you have to close, and you have to come out, go to bin, and run this elasticsearch.bat. Elasticsearch will uh, start running. You will get to see here, you can see that name, node name Raj is loading. You can give any name as you want. Now, uh, when it will uh, complete, it will give a message that it started. How you will check that whether it is running successfully or not? Very simple, you have to give localhost and the port number in which port you configure. I configured as a 9205. Let's check. See, it's came. It's a note name is Raj and cluster name is Elasticsearch and some UID and uh, version and everything. It came so now you can say that Elasticsearch is running. Now, how to configure Kibana? As you remember, Elasticsearch will store data and Kibana will display those data. Kibana will make query to Elasticsearch and it will retrieve data. If if start Kibana but Elasticsearch is down, that time uh, Kibana will give you error or warning message that Elasticsearch is not there. So first you have to start Elasticsearch. After that you have to search uh, start Kibana. Let's start Kibana. Kibana also have same thing. It has one config file. Let's open it. Okay, this is Kibana. Now for Kibana, I give port number 5602. By default, uh, port number for Kibana is 5601. Now, uh, 
see host name is localhost you can give your ip address your host name anything you, you can give this is very important elastic search url see i want to uh, read uh, elastic search from my localhost that's why i give localhost uh, if you have kibana is running on different server and your uh, elastic search running on different server on that time for kibana configuration you have to give that elastic search uh, server ip and that port number also there are a lot other configuration here log related thing whether verbose mode which, which mode you want everything you can configure here and you have to simply save it go back to bin folder and start that kibana.bat you'll get some message here see here you get uh, here it is running on 5602 its state is to green and it is ready means it is working now now be ready to see hello everyone Today, I am going to demonstrate ELK installation. In my last video, I explained the basic features of ELK, components, and workflow. Now, let's see what are the products of ELK has. This is the website where you can download all the EXEs you required. Let's go to product. You can see that ELK has this many components. Now, uh, for our uh, work, uh, we have to download Elasticsearch and Kibana. Go to Elasticsearch, click as a download. Here you can download zip file, tar file, MSI, everything. Uh, if you download MSI, it will create a Windows service and it will run. So it will be very helpful. But now I am downloading zip file for this. And uh, for uh, Kibana, we have to go here you search on download and uh, choose the windows file i already have downloaded those files so i'm directly going there um, okay first you have to run that elastic search elastic search have one uh, config file you open this yeah you have to give that note name of elastic search here i put raj you can configure your log file here you can give any path where log will be getting saved here the host name where elk will run i put as a for local host you can give any ip or machine name and the port number uh, normally it runs on 9200 port which is its default port but i configure as a 9205 okay now close it go to bin folder you to run that elastic search you have to double click on this and it will start running you can see that uh, node name which is raj which you configured and uh, it is starting yeah it started Oh, something's happened, so it failed to start. No problem. Let's close it. Double click and click on start. Yeah, now it started. You can see uh, it is started and it moved red to yellow. How to check whether it is running? or not go to localhost give the port number and you can see see if this thing came means elastic search is running successfully okay now we have to start kibana go to kibana inside it also have one ml file let's set in okay yeah it has that server port for this but default port is 5601 i make it as a 5602 you can give that host name where kibana will run i put as a local host or you can give machine ip machine host name anything and kibana will read the log from elastic search so here you have to put that elastic search url where elastic search is up and running my elastic search is running on local host and 9205 so I give as a 9205 now you, there are a lot other configuration you can do this uh, here I put a logging verbose is equal to true because I want verbose message now how to start 
Kibana. Simply go here and click on that bad file. Yeah, it also saying that uh, it is yellow to green and it is in ready state. Now let's go to Kibana uh, dashboard. Okay, for Kibana you have to give 5601 no no I am naming on 5602 okay yeah it came uh, this is the dashboard of Kibana here you can choose that time zone uh, means today week month 15 minutes everything uh, let's choose me that today whatever is happening okay no file now uh, how to add the uh, file here so we have to create one indexes see from here we can create any index file create an index pattern so this index pattern should match if I put anything it will not take so what I will do I will import one file let's create this from postman okay it is loading yeah you can see that uh, i'm going to uh, import one uh, file my url will be like this uh, it is a post called localos 9205 where my elk is running i gave one uh, name six pair i created this six pair indexes there then i have to add that file i downloaded okay yes this one i can choose okay and send yeah you can see that one six pair indexes is created so let's go back to here instead of this random name you have to give that same name see now that create option came because name already match let's create and go to dashboard see here i can choose six pair and you can see all these log messages number of log messages you can see here and you can also modify this one using you if you want to see only id let's give id if you want to see on the play name you can give here and text entry you can give here okay and you can also remove uh, from here okay now you want to see how many times this text occurs in this text file so go here put colon and enter only one time it will say how many times it hits but if you want to know how many times this word occurs in this whole log file so it just remove this query yeah you can still remove the query and search like this i show you how many times this like word came okay so simply yeah 4491 times this like what came in all the log files okay and uh, uh, what kind of operation you can create you can go to visualize you can create one uh, what will create let's create a data table data table and which indexes we want to select Shakespeare okay now we want to search how many times like came yeah yeah you can see now your discount name you want to change so you have to go to matrices here you can give any name my name okay and save see you can see now you can also download this as a formatted see if i download this one it will uh, download as a csv file if you open then you can see you can see all these things okay and uh, you can go to dashboard you can create one dashboard let's add it okay visualization for what uh, okay sorry here you can save this visualization like this let's say uh, first save okay and save it now in dashboard if you want to see you have to add this thing and fast save okay see 
it came like this and it will be automatically updated and you have to make it as a save now uh, yeah you have to give any name first dashboard and save this okay now see here you can create bar graph histogram anything you can create from here also you can download this thing raw or formatted now if you if uh, this is like that how many times like what occur in your log file it is for now 4491 so now every time you have to manually refresh so that it will update so kibana is providing another feature that you have to go to today and uh, here you can go yeah here auto refresh in auto refresh you can see that every one minute you should auto refresh see here it came so every one minute it will check how many times that file came and uh, like what came and it will update here okay this is the uh, basic of kibana okay in my next uh, video i will explain little deep how can we utilize this kibana thank you guys